Happy Monday. Today I wanted to talk about putting impurities in your body. Yesterday I was walking through the grocery store uh, with my son and the grocery stores are just full of garbage food. I was just walking around and I was thinking, well, heck, you know, what can you eat that's here that's good for you? I like to talk about happiness and I tell you what, when I started to not make any exceptions on my diet, you know, not eating the meat, sorry for you meat eaters, but I don't eat meat, you know, what I started to realize when I was eating it, I didn't notice, but when I stopped eating it, I and then I went back to try a little bit of it, I noticed it makes me feel like crap. You know, and what a lot of it, a lot of the time what it is is we don't separate ourselves from this junk food long enough to really, you know, get the idea or get the, 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 the feeling from it. And, th and that's really what you need to do. Um, my partner went through the inflammation diet program and that's what they do. They get rid of all these foods and then they introduce the new foods back into your diet, the foods that are on the anti-inflammation diet. God darn it. Happy Monday. These grocery stores and fast food chains and restaurants, they're all the same thing. They all sell garbage food. I'm walking through the grocery store yesterday and I'm thinking to myself, wow, they really are trying to kill us here. Because the majority of these foods, they make you feel like crap. They're a strain on your digestive system. They make you break out. They, I mean, it, it, countless problems. If you just take the time to read up on, you know, you can Google any specific food for the most part. You know, Google whatever, you know, corn, popcorn. You know, if you Google that popcorn negatives, there's going to be a whole slew of things that are going to come up that are going to tell you about why you shouldn't eat popcorn you know it's gmo it's a strain on your digestive system i mean it, you know it's acidic all kinds of things what we need to start doing is not making any exceptions eating clean eating the fruits and the vegetables you know this the, these corporations they want you to tell yourself oh i need to treat myself to a steak i need to treat myself to a burger you shouldn't even want that stuff in your body you know, if you're going to treat yourself to something, treat yourself to an exotic fruit. Treat yourself to an exotic dish that's made out of a bunch of expensive, you know, vegetables or, you know, say I'm going to have like, you know, for the next several days, all organic food. Treat yourself that way. But treating yourself to a steak or a burger or, you know, these, these crappy foods, all, you're, all they're doing is killing us softly. The information is out there. I don't understand why it is. I mean, I, I put myself in the same boat. You know, I've been overweight. I've been huge. There was a time where I didn't know. But you know what? There wasn't anyone in my face that was telling me specifically what I'm saying today. That's the clincher. You know, there wasn't anyone that I had that was saying, you know, and I had a lot of wise people in my life, but they weren't saying the things that I needed to hear. They weren't saying what I'm saying now. They weren't saying this food is making you fat. This food's making you feel like crap. This food shouldn't be in your system. This food can give you cancer. This foods, you know, can give you colon cancer. You know, you know, uh, uh, you know, my culture, we're always eating that barbecue. Barbecue is horrible for you. Barbecue is terrible for you. It re, you know, read up on um, cancer causing foods. One of the number one things that's going to come up is red meat, you know, chicken, barbecued food, you know, putting food on the grill, frying food in the pan. I mean, all these oils. I mean, heck, I mean, for the most part, if it's not coconut oil, barely heated up, it's bad for you. It's bad for your system. You know, I see a lot of people running around here all the time worried about cancer. It's what we eat. That's what gives us cancer, what we eat the majority of the time. Yes, it can, it can have to do with, you know, your surroundings and your environment. Yes, but for the majority, it's what we're putting in our bodies. And these corporations, the grocery stores, the restaurants, 
they don't care about you. They care about money. That's what they care about. Your problems, your health, they don't care. You come in, you pay them for their garbage, you leave, thank you. You, you know, if you get sick from this food, you know, just last week, my, my partner ate dicks. You know, I don't eat that crap, but you know, sometimes she likes to eat that crap. You know, I, I'm saying the same thing to her that I'm saying on this video. Why are you eating that crap? She got sick right afterwards because that stuff attacks your immune system. It's not good for you. You know, I'm not saying anything that's not all over the internet. I'm not saying anything that doctors aren't saying. I'm not saying anything that scientists aren't saying. I'm just putting it on the video. Take it or leave it. You know, I was an enormous fat body. I'm not anymore because I changed what I ate and I changed this. Happy Monday.